I'm the baddest. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I arranged my city and I found that I could only fix 90% of what people wanted. So I figured that maybe the last thing I need is well, here. So there we are. Let's go see if this is where our last 10% will be. I'm uh, kind of upset that I put a lot of time into that and then I wasn't able to do anything whatsoever. Now also, what are we doing here? I need this? Uh, no. What do, we, what do I need there? I need... I swear they gave me something. This? Yes. They gave us something during that last video, during all those events. This was one of those things, and it's what lets us get to the boss, I imagine. A big sprout is growing, but something is still missing. Maybe an item to speed up plant growth. Use item with square. Oh, you mean like the items that I could have possibly used to uh, go into a secret area? Well, thanks for not letting me do that now. Though it is kind of an ingenious use of the item letting it do two different things. Still not happy with that. This looks strange. Oh, it's a monkey. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ha, 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 ha. Is it going to be a quick time event? Or am I going to have to fight it fight it? Uh, Master Ru Master Rutan? He's behaving strangely, probably under the spell of the Dark Genie. You'll have to fight him. You'll just have to. So if anything was learned from last time, it's that we should equip something to throw at him. I'll try a lightning gem. Whoa! That wasn't very nice at all. Oh. Oh. So throwing stuff at him seems to not have done anything at all. And now we are kind of really hurt. But we're going to keep throwing stuff at him because that's, that's the kind of can-do attitude we have, ladies and gentlemen. Um, um, we'll throw this next. Oh, he's doing some pretty big damage here. Um, it's a good thing that we have all this cheese from not too long ago. <laughs> um, okay, that, that didn't help us because we didn't throw it at him. Maybe we can try it again. Oh, don't want to change that around at all. No effect on him, because he's a big old monkey. He's about to smack the crap out of me. <laughs> My guy is real hurt, though. Good thing this isn't like Dark Souls or something. Alright, so I think what the goal is... First of all, I need to heal. I think what the goal here is, is to uh, let him swing, then he gets dizzy, then we can slap him in like the back or the butt. But it doesn't seem like we're really smacking him for much. And it looks like we can only smack him once. So let's do the one, and back up. And do... Oh, I died. Um, standing powder. This is not gonna go well at all. As I'm hitting him for one. I can do this all day. 
All right, so my drive filled up again. I really do need a bigger driver to keep it a lot cleaner. <laughs> we were in the middle of pelting him very slowly with uh, our steel slingshot plus one. That has 17 attack, and yet we still do like zero damage to him. Charging it up seems to have no difference whatsoever on it. I don't see anything in the room that could possibly help us. So we're just gonna keep doing this. Maybe I need to pull out Goro. Let's let's try pulling out Goro. See if he has something to say to this guy. No effect. I wonder if it's because we're slapping him with the fish. Like some kind of crazy person. Didn't even hit him on that one. No effect. No effect. No effect. Oh, 16 damage. Hey, we got him to do something. It also hurt us. There we go. We know we know how to do things. <laughs> we did some experimentation and it, it seems to have worked out for us. And now we're gonna waste a bunch of cheese healing Tubby over here because I don't know how to avoid this maybe just like that oh no oh no oh no oh oh I thought we were doing so good too ah oh. oh no 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 we can't lose we can't lose Gora oh. oh that was scary I did not like that at all. Oh, come on. I really want this guy to be dead soon because I'm not enjoying this at all. We fake this way, then we fake that way. Yeah, that's how we do it. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. Did the wrong thing on that one again. It's okay. Ow. We're doing, uh, we're doing not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, he's going for another one. We're getting pretty good at avoiding them. Oh no. Whew. I'll slam that triangle button trying to get into the menu. And let it go here. There we go. There we go. Hit him for five on that one. Might want to repair our weapon though. I do like that it's taking uh, some different techniques to kill each boss, seeing as how this is the second one that I've fought. Oh man, one of them got me. I wonder how many times I'll have to do this this time. Yeah. Alright, I tried to rush in on you and you don't, you don't want to play that game. I, I understand. Alright, before he shoots another one, I need to make sure that I top off health. Because uh, these things can get pretty painful pretty quickly and hopefully it's over soon because we're running out of health and water. There we go. And now. Three. Did we win? I think we're getting close to winning.
No! Oh. I don't think that we'll be able to do it with just her. Which is disappointing. Yeah. We're gonna have to leave the dungeon. Uh, we're gonna have to restock on some uh, health items and we're gonna have to go back in here. And that's pretty disappointing after uh, well over six minutes of fighting something for it to not be dead. This is what it, the village looks like right now. I'm not gonna showcase it until I destroy this boss because he's made me incredibly angry now. And we're not gonna let him win, are we? No, we aren't. No, we aren't. I think we get better value out of a bunch of bread Eh, we'll buy like one cheese for safety. And now we got a shitload of bread, some water, and uh... Oh, we only have one repair. Should probably buy another repair. So we can get rid of one of these guys for that. Oh my lord. Yes. We got some repairs in there. Um, I wonder if I can accomplish those charged attacks and knocking him down with this character. I'm gonna try that. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that I was real close to finishing that boss though. So we're gonna uh, give it another shot and hopefully this time we can get it done. So. This is the easiest way to get to the forest when you don't really know what you're doing or where you're going. Alright, gotta get in for our, our zen moment here. This is the last recording of the night because I'm getting kind of angry at this boss. So, at least I think it's going to be the last recording of the night. Who really knows, right? I am disappointed that I got defeated by the boss. Uh, I don't recall being defeated by the first boss ever. Um, yeah, it was kind of rough, but we did it without having to leave the dungeon and return. So that's kind of annoying. I'm really hoping that you can hear me pretty well over the music, because if not, uh, it's going to be kind of real bad. Oh man, got hit by one right off the bat. Here we go, here we go, here we go, right here. That did not knock him down. We are doing some good damage to him now. From what I can tell. We're not knocking him down and making him do the spit thing, so that's actually really good. And we get immunity frames when we were in the air after we hit him. I actually prefer to fight this guy like this than how we were doing it with Goro. Oh no. I don't prefer for that to happen though. Yeah. Get wrecked, fool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gonna have to repair our weapon. It's taking four each time we do this. Whew. I, I got the adrenaline pumping. Alright, we're gonna we're also gonna hit up a bread since we're in menus already. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! That's the ticket right there. And another one! One. What is he gonna be dead? How much HP does this guy have? I haven't been paying attention. 
I was close. Come on. Yep. Yeah. I know we're doing damage. I'm seeing numbers pop up. I just don't really seem to know how much damage we're doing. That was a different sound. Sneak up on him? Sneak up on him. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think Goro was doing more damage for some reason. Only because we've made him retreat more as Goro. Maybe that was the secret in the last one is that we were supposed to hit him with the Zhao to bring him down. That was a mistake. <sighs> it's getting kind of heated. He's either got a crap load of HP. Hey! We did it! Just as I was getting ready to say, he's either got a crap load of HP or we needed Goro to do this. Huh. I'm so happy. He's bald on his head. Who are you? What's happening to me? I'm drinking water, that's what's happening to you. It's my, my skull cup, I like it a lot. Oh really, I didn't know. Wow, that was my fault. I must apologize to you. That was uncalled for. Me smacking you around all over the place and making you go through every single freaking healing item you owned. Brown Boo Village? Yes, I know it. It's where the little people are. Come on, I'll take you there. Oh yeah. The little people's village is just over this rock. <laughs> Oops. Hmm, you can't go any further, huh? Wait a sec. I could just lift this up and move it. Schnurf, schnurf. I like how these aspects are like super powerful and yet I have to defeat them all because they're under the genie. How's this? <sighs> My curly haired village chief's not so fond of humans. So, watch yourself there. It seems to be sleeping. Well, that's super. Do I really want to go in here? Not really. Because uh, I kind of wanted to see if I got to 100% in the other village. But yeah, so now we're doing this. You know, it's a thing that we're doing. Drinking water. That's what I'm doing. It's a pretty cool looking village. They look like little wizards from Final Fantasy or something. Mayday! Chief, this is weird. A human has come to the village. Hmm. They never learn. We will have to go with the beware... Be aware of nights when stars fall plan. What the hell? Yeltsi Kraken! Kraken! Oh god, are they sending a Kraken after me? Because that could be real bad for my street cred. Ah, what on? Leave me alone, will you? Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just trying to be friendly and say hi to people. And they don't want nothing to do with me. Huh, who are you? If I talk to you again, do I get anything else? Nope. Alright. 
Oh, uh, clearly this is a city, I think, that we're supposed to visit. Um, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get too far in here without meeting some of the right people. Oh. Well then. <laughs> Cracking. Like, dropping rocks on my head. Thanks, man. Oh, bingo, the first try, look at it. Like, it's boring, kind of. What do you do with this? <laughs> am I tied up? Yep, sure am. So, you've come around. What does a human want in a place like this? The dark genie? What is that? It's no use talking nonsense. I'm sure sticking your head under the water will help you to reconsider playing the fool. Ah, oh, they're gonna waterboard him? <laughs> Them! What? This person seems to be telling the truth. Crystal has... Please, just come. Who's Crystal? I don't know. Here we go. Oh, it's a Crystal. Brr, clunk. Another cinematic. Alright. I'm going to drink while we watch this. Now I'm all out. Hey, it's a dark genie. This house is kind of sparse. I have a feeling we're going to fight him at the end, though. <laughs> what the hell? He's <laughs> just like smiling. Yeah, hey, here's my stogie. You know what George Carlin said about stogies? It's a big brown dick. This must be the dark genie that the guy was talking about. Is this the evil genie of darkness that our ancestors sealed? Probably. <laughs> Duh. What? You're telling us to seal that thing again? No way, never. We could never seal that monster. Not with the ability we have now. Theo is right, magic is indeed the secret power the moon people have passed on through the generations, but as we lived in this land for so long, we seem to have lost that ability. We just don't have the power to seal the genie anymore. It doesn't mean that it's impossible, though. Well, what do we do then? There are no moon people left here who can still use magic, but if you go to moon, <laughs> there should definitely be those that can. Exactly, you're right, we need to go to the moon. Okay. People in Brambu have always prepared for this day to return. We have a ship to take us to the moon, hidden in a particular place. What? Can we really do such a thing? It's okay, we won't use it for a while anyways. Why? <laughs> Bring the moon orb here. Roger! The orb of the moon is a sphere to move the moon ship. With the orb, you can remotely control the moon ship from anywhere. Okay. Oh no, the moon horn is missing. <laughs> of course it is. What do you mean? Does anyone know where the orb is? Nem, sir, the other day, Jessica went, went to Queens to sell moon fruits. Could it be that it was accidentally mixed together with the moon fruits? Really? <laughs> Jessica! Yes. You know about the moon orb? Uh, now that you ask, I do remember a strange colored fruit among the others. That must be it. How could you do that? I'm so sorry, Chief. Hmm... Seems like we can't let you use the moon ship. Without the moon orb, we cannot operate the moon ship. Say, why not go to Queens to find the orb? Oh, that is a good idea. You can find the orb on your own, then we can operate the moon ship. These kind of things should be done by oneself, I suppose. And you'll return if you'll return it after you're done with it. With them doing all the work, what are you doing? Now yeah, we'll mark Queens on your map so you can go there. You better get moving soon. Off you go. Wow, these people are all jerks. Wow. Super, super jerks. I wonder if there's a, a shop here. That's all I really care about is finding if there's a shop here. And if they're selling the things I need. Uh, strange colored fruit, blah, blah, blah. Mayor is helping human, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it looks like 
everyone only has one thing to say. So until I talk to someone that says that they have stuff for sale, I only need to talk to them once. It appears. Uh, I'll never approve of humans. Humans! Humph! I'll humph your damn self. Uh, first human the mayor liked. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone hates me. This chamber is where moon fruits grow and are stored. And you won't give me a moon fruit, will you? Thank you. You're so kind to visitors. And you... I hear the shipwreck in Queens is haunted. Oh, cool. So we're going to some kind of a shipwreck. Alright, I'm tired of getting nowhere here. So we're gonna go talk to this guy. That spells serious trouble if you did. Blah, blah, blah. But I think I destroyed Queens. Thanks. Brown Boo Village. Queens. Move to Queens. Sure, why not? I like the song at least. I don't think I ever made it this far a long time ago when I was playing this game. So it's kind of cool to to be here. However, oh, that's neat. It's like a multi-tiered type of a place. I guess we can look around real quick for a chest, of which there appears to be none. I'm guessing one of those ways is the dungeon. Oh, it won't let me re-enter walking mode. So it won't let me enter walking mode at all, unless I'm down here. So that's kind of annoying. Adventure day 11, afternoon. Yay. Uh, I wonder if I can check the happiness of them from here. To your own menu. Nope, I cannot. Saving would be a good idea, but right now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'd really like to know why you can't just like jump wherever you need to. That <laughs> looked like we were walking into a painting like in Mario or something. <laughs> I like it. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello there. Oh, you. So there are other humans left over the other than myself. I thought I was the only one left in this whole wide world. Good to know there's someone, even though you're only a kid. I'm Rando. I saw goods here in Queens. So you're a BMK1985, also known as Dash Brandon, if you will. <laughs> oh, we don't have to stand here talking. Why don't we go over to my shop? That's cool. At least we met the shop owner. I guess. Buy stuff. With the very little money I have. What? They brought that fat beast back to life? Fools, they must be from the east. They're up to some madness again, those blasted easterners. Blood-sucking scum of the earth. Even back then. Darn. Damn. So what's the moon orb like that you're looking for? I see. Maybe it's lost in the undersea treasury. It's a shipwreck at the bottom of the Queen Sea. Most merchants and queens use it as a warehouse. But it's changed lately. Now there are monsters everywhere. That giant monster that attacked queens must be the cause. Today, it's so dangerous. <laughs> a place that we cannot even go get our merchandise. Do you still want to go there? Alright, I'll help you. Come, follow me. And what's a ship owner going to do for me? This Queens is a town of merchant traders. Some items we handle are really rare and expensive. Such expensive items need special care and handling. The safest place to keep such items in Queens is... It's kind of a huge safe at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> but you're wondering why that ship sank there, aren't you? It was about a hundred years ago. The Queen resigning... Or reigning. 
over Queen's passed away, and that was when the townspeople who adored the Queen sunk her favorite ship along with her. That's the wreck ship at the bottom of the sea near Queen's. When Queen's revived as a merchant town, the late Queen sunken ship started to serve as the undersea treasury. Sound a bit disrespectful, but merchants are practical. They make the best of any situation. Oh. What? Oh, how are you going to get there? In this submarine, of course. Take a look at that. It's, it is the submarine turtle that makes trips to, to and from the shipwreck. Sweet. I don't want to go right now. Don't send me. I'm not ready. This is what the merchants use to ride and to store valuable items in the treasury. There, it's all yours. It only carries one person, so you have to go alone. How do you operate it? It's easy. You just get in and it will take you to the shipwreck. It was designed for merchants who know little about machines and are only good at counting money. I'll be in my store, so stop by if you need anything. My store carries lots of stuff. Oh, I'll give you a hand, but I have to charge you for the goods. Even at times like this, a merchant is a merchant. Take care! Eh, everyone in the game has charged me for stuff so far, so I wouldn't expect anything any different of you. I'm not ready to go there, though. Is this the shop? I have no idea. Oh, looks like it, yep. What's in here? Any items? Any free items in the shop? It appears the answer to that question is no. How about no shot? Can I shop here? Oh, he sells bombs. That's neat. He also sells nothing whatsoever in the way of weapon stuff. So that's not helpful at all, even though we only have 138. I could sell like one or two of these plant busters and one or two of these guys to make a little bit of room and one of these holies. So that gave us a little bit of cash. I wonder what the gold bullion is for. Item price, no change, good buy with extra money. I think that's if you want, that's like a way of saving your money maybe uh, in case you die when you're down below. I say down below here, but you know when I when you're in the uh, dungeons. So that's cool. Why is this a back door? And why does it have an invisible wall too? Can't run up there. Well, this area feels fairly limiting. All right then. I guess there's gonna be an invisible wall somewhere over here. Holy crap, can I go all the way? I can. Until I hit that invisible wall and that invisible wall. And that is a, an imaginary cart. All right, we're gonna go to the other area. I will showcase my village. Hopefully it's at 100% now because I've finished the dungeon. I don't know if it will be. It should have been. Ninety percent. How did I get ninety percent? Let's save. Even though I wasted a lot of money and stuff. I don't I don't know how I'm ninety percent. He wanted to be by this. He wanted to be up top. So we did that. They wanted to be by a mill, so we did that. They wanted to be up top, so we did that. Here's another well. They wanted to be by the trees, so we did that. He wanted to be by that, so we did that. They wanted to be by him, he wanted to be by him, and he wanted to be surrounded with water. We did all of that. I guess maybe if, if this guy had, if Goro had something that he wanted for the village, like, if he had a special request for something to be by him? I don't even know if he's here, though. So. If that's the only thing that I haven't done is Goro, then I might be able to get it right. Hey, yeah, we got some stuff, at least. 
pocket acquired. What's up? Is that does that expand our I was carrying more items. Yay! We go from 60 to 70. Nice. That's good. I don't think that changes how many weapons and stuff like that we can carry, unfortunately. Slide down like in the division. Doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So I don't think that he has any special desires, seeing as how he's not even here. Grass cake. That's probably the special defensive item for Gora. I would put money on that. Hey, look at that. I was right. Um, yeah. So I really don't know what I need to fix. I might poke at it and let you know in the next video. Because this one's getting kind of long. I know that. I do apologize. Um, yeah. So, I start to think that it's someone that has two people living at their house, like Momo here. But, like, the, the grandpa just says, like, nonsense, basically. Um, yeah. So like you can you can ask him, but he doesn't really care. Um, I don't know. The mushroom house has two people, but I I set them up how they wanted to be. This one has two people, but it's like a mom and a kid. Um, yeah, I don't I don't see anything else. Who's Pal? Who is Pal? Oh, he's the one that wanted to live by the lake. So he got he got his way. Um Cacao? Uh, he wanted to live by the trees. Bunbuku. Uh, oh, that was the one I wanted to live by the... By the mill. Baron wanted to live over there. I don't understand. Yeah. Hey everybody, I managed to do it. Uh, this guy wanted to be surrounded by trees and that was it. Uh, that's all for today. See you guys later. Bye bye. Alright everyone, I forgot that when you 100% something that uh, they have a cutscene. So here's a cutscene. Haha, <laughs> thanks to you we have a gentle breeze blowing in Matataki village. I'm grateful to you. Take this little one. Oh, 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 he's gonna sneeze on me again. Oh, that's gross. That's really, really bad. Power powder. Sweet. It's my way of saying thank you. An extraordinary item it is. Upgrades weapons unconditionally. Make the best of it, darling. That's weird calling me darling, buddy. But, whatever. Oh, and here comes Goro. What does Goro have to say? Hey, Trent. He gets a reward and I get nothing? That's not fair. Heh <laughs> so you've noticed. Goro seems to have gotten his fire back. I'm glad. Here you go, little Goro. Take this. Oh, he's gonna sneeze on him too. <laughs> At you. Oh, he got a battle axe. I think that his... Goro's dad's Fudo used to own this. Take good care of it. This is about it. This is about all I could do for you. The rest of it you have to do on your own somehow. Make sure you're prepared. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that was actually pretty cool of them to uh, give us a couple more things there. I do like having power-up powder. 
because this thing ain't gonna upgrade itself, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, I need to go grab some items to uh, customize it a little bit differently. But uh, until I do that, and until next time, you guys have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye.